Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to swap out the front brake pads on our 2007 Honda Goldwing GL1800A. Really simple to do, basically just three steps. So let me go grab my tools and the parts and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go. All right, this is going to be a skill level one, really simple procedure here. Now, as far as the tools, just need a flat blade screwdriver, five millimeter Allen, three eighths ratchet, and as always, a decent torque wrench. Now listen, when you go to reference our exploded diagrams, you need to go to two different places because there's actually a part number for the front left and the front right brake pad. So make sure you get one of each. So once you've got your tools and your parts together, I can go over there and show you how to get it done. So let's go. All right, guys, we've got it lifted up. We've got our left side uh, brake pads ready to go. First thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, collapse the, uh, the piston back inside of the caliper. So let's grab a large screwdriver and see if we can get that thing pushed back in. When you're doing this, try to be careful. Don't scar up your, uh, your brake rotor. I just put it in on the edge and turn. There she goes. All right, that should be bottomed out. All right, next, there's one little plug right here. You just need to pull that out. And then there's a five millimeter Allen. And it actually goes through the brake pads themselves. Put your finger against the bottom of the brake pads and push up. That'll allow it to come out. Now, just guide the pads out. There we go. All right, before we go reinstall this, let's clean up the pin. And when you do so, put a little bit of silicone grease on this little O-ring at the very end. But just on the tip. Don't put any on the, uh, the pivot pin itself. All right, you'll notice on the pads, there's one with the shim. This shim needs to be on the inside, so the other pad will be like this. So this is how you need to install them. All right. So we've got that one on the inside. You have to wiggle the caliper back and forth a little bit like I'm doing to get them both to go up. This one on the outside. Let's guide them up. All right, we've got them up in there, and you'll notice that they're trying to push this way, but there's a spring up there that I'm having to push against. So we can go ahead and rest the pin in there, push out and up, and it'll line up going through the... Uh, brake pad. So I've done the outside and there's the inside. Go ahead and snug this down then we're going to grab the torque wrench and torque it to 13 foot pounds. All right next just need to put this little cap back on there. One side down one to go. Let's jump over and get it finished. All right same procedure over here. We'll start by just pushing the piston back into the caliper bore. When you're pulling it back into the bore, kind of hold it. Make sure it bottoms out. Just hold it for a couple of seconds. Otherwise, it'll try to spring back on you, and that's what you don't want. All right, feels like it's bottomed out. Let's pull off this cap and get that other pivot pin out. All right. Push up on the pads from the bottom. Pop her out. There they are. Now I just need to get this one cleaned back up, then we'll get it put back together. All right, let's go ahead and get our pads back in. Once again, make sure that shim is toward the inside. Let's see if we can get her pushed up in there. There's one. Let's get our outside one in. All right, they're up and in place. Let's put our pin back in. Past one, past the other. Now snug it down. Now I'll just bring this one to 13 pounds as well. Put our cap back on. Last but not least, go and pump them back up. All right, they're seated back down and this one's ready to go. See, I told you it was going to be simple. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. 
you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Parkzilla and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.